Okay, now no Safari will be complete without, of course, a Safari guide. Uh, as you can tell, this one's going to be a little more complicated. We've got a few balloons going on here. I've got uh, two 160s, a Mocha and a Fashion Blush. The Mocha's got about a two to three inch tail. The Blush has got about a five or six inch tail. I've got a white 260 that's blown up about six or eight inches of it. That's all we're going to need. I've got a chocolate 260 with about a five inch tail on it. A pair of Mocha 260s with about four or five inch tails on them. I've got two Fashion Blush 260s. One has uh, got about a five inch tail. The other's got about a seven or eight inch tail on it. I've got a Chocolate 360 with about a five or six inch tail. A Mocha five inch round blown up to about three inches. And then a Fashion Blush Heart blown up. And the reason I chose the Vitalik on this one is because I held it when I blew it up so the lobes wouldn't go and it forced it go, to go back up the neck. This is going to be his chin. He's going to have a big double chin. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with the heart and I'm going to hold the lobe so they don't lobe out. I want it to stay rounded like that. I don't want a heart. And then I'm going to pull the bubble off on the end about a little over an inch, inch and a half, and then I'm going to make that into a pinch dress. Then I'm going to take the longer of my two fashion blush balloons, and I'm going to push the nozzle around in there, and I'm going to make a pair of fold twists that are about as wide as the heart once they're folded. Just like that. This is the beginning of the space. And then um, I'm going to take my 5 inch round mocha and my white and I'm going to tie those two together. The nozzle just like that. And then I'm going to take and come over to my head again. I'm going to make about an inch and a half to two inch bubble. And then I'm going to twist the white around that. I'm going to take the white and make a bubble the same size, bring it down, twist it around the pinch twist there, which is his nose, and then I'm going to come back up and twist it around up into that. Then I'm going to take my blush, make another bubble the same size, and come down into the back of the head and twist it into the base of the head there. I'm going to take the rest of this white off, which I didn't use. Tie it all up so it doesn't come undone. Get that out of there. Tuck the excess back up into his head. And you can see his face beginning to take shape. Don't panic, he doesn't have a knot on his head or a weird hairdo. That's going to be part of his head in a moment. And we're going to leave this on the back. This is going to be his neck, so I'm going to come out and make just a little short bubble, just enough to get out where it can go straight down behind the heart of his chin. And you can see him beginning to take shape there. Now we're going to come get our Mocha 160. And I'm going to make a pair of little pinch twists up on the end of this by making two small bubbles, making both a pinch twist in here. And then I'm going to take and put this in the back of his head and I'm going to wrap it around until it meets up with those pinch twists and lock them in. There's the beginning of that. Now I'm going to go around again, just like that, again for the same two pinch twists. And you can see his hat is beginning to take shape. And then I'm going to go around one more time, keeping it snug so it'll kind of hold itself on there. Get up like that. Now he's starting to develop. There's his hat. I'm going to pop the excess of this mocha off, but I want to keep it inflated.
because I'm going to use this to give him a nice little mustache. So I'm going to take and tie the end of this just like that. And I'm going to take this and divide it into two equal bubbles. Come up here in his nose. Bring it down and cross them over. And give him a nice little mustache going on there. Now we're going to set that aside and start working on his body. I'm going to start with his pants. So I'm going to take the chocolate 360 and I'm going to start by making a pair of pinch twists on the end of it. Like that. And he's going to have shorts. So I'm going to make about a two and a half to a three inch bubble there. And I'm going to make a larger pinch twist. Followed by another larger pinch twist. And then another bubble the same size as that, followed by the two pinch twists. I'm going to pop off the rest of this chocolate. We are done with that. Secure that in. Okay. There are a little safari dude shorts. So now we're going to take and make his boots with the chocolate 260. So we're going to make a fold twist. The one that's folded is about the size of my thumb, followed by a pair of pinch twists. Like that. Now we're going to come up and make about an inch to an inch and a half bubble and another pair of pinch twists. Pop this off and keep it inflated because obviously we need two boots. So, tie this up. Before I do that, I'm going to go back and make sure this end is secured so it doesn't come down. There we go. So there's one boot. Now we need another boot just the same way. So the fold twist, the two pinch twists. half bubble and two more pinch twists. So about that. And there's his other boots. Now we've got two boots, a pair of shorts. Okay now we're gonna take our shorter of the two fashion blush we have left and we're gonna make two little pieces of legs to connect his uh, pants to his boots. So you'll make a little bubble. And we're going to pop this off and keep that inflated to make another one. So we can tie that off. Tie that one off. And we need another bubble the same size. And we're going to take and attach one of these to one side of his pants and attach a boot to it. And then we're going to take the other, attach it to the other side of his short, attach a boot to that one. And there's his legs. So you can see he's kind of taking shape. Now we're going to make his shirt. Move that over a little bit. We're going to start with one of our mochas. We're going to make a pair of pinch twists on the end of this. We're going to make a little sleeve. He's wearing short sleeves. And we're going to, that's about an inch and a half to two inch bubble. Then we're going to make a pinch twist. A little bitty tiny spacer bubble. And then another pinch twist. Now we're going to grab his pants. I'm going to make about a four inch bubble and I'm going to take this and twist it into the two pinch twists at the top of his pants. 
like that. Now I need another bubble the same size as that one. And I'm going to twist into that tip strip like that. So there's part of his upper body. Now I need a little bitty tiny spacer bubble. And then I'm going to make a pair of pinch twists here. Just like that. Now what I need, once I attach these shoulders, there's going to end up being a gap up in the top. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So to prevent that from happening, I'm going to squeeze this so it's pretty soft. I'm going to make a bubble that's not quite as long as this one here. It's going to stop just short of going down to his pants. I'm going to come right back up with another bubble the same way. And then I'm going to pop the rest of this off. Here that in. And there's part of it. Now we're going to take our other Mocha 260, make the other half of his upper body and shirt by making the two pinch twists at the end. The short bubble that's his sleeve, the pinch twist, the little tiny spacer bubble, and then the other pinch twist. Now we're going to grab this and we need to make another bubble the same size as that one there. The four inch bubble. And again, we're going to put that into the shorts, just like we did the other one. And then another bubble to come up and attach to that one there, that pinch twist. And then we need to take, make another little tiny spacer bubble, like this one that was over here, just like that. I'm going to move that out of the way, and then we're going to twist this into those two pinch twists there in the middle. That's where his neck is going to attach. We're going to take the rest of his mocha off. We don't need it anymore. Secure that in. And then we're going to take those two and push them back in the middle. And bring his arms out to the side there. And now you can see how that's filled in his upper body there. Now we're going to take his head. We want his neck to be long enough that his chin will come down there, so we're going to make his neck about that long. We're going to twist that into those two pinch twists on top of his shirt. Bring his head up around like that. Okay, now that we've got his head attached, we need to make his arms, and we'll be done with this guy. So, start by making a little small bubble there, about half or three quarters of an inch. Take a pair of pinch twists, like that. And then two little small bubbles about the same size as that first one, just like that. That's going to be one little hand. We need to make about a two and a half or three inch bubble for a form. A little small pinch twist for his elbow, and then a little small bubble to go and connect up into the sleeve. Now keep the rest of this in play when you pop it off because we have, obviously have another arm to make, so we're going to tie that off, tie this off, and just make another arm just like that. The same basic process. Make your little bubble for your thumb, make your two pinch twists. Make your two finger bubbles. Make your forearm bubble, elbow, and then your little small connector that goes up under the sleeve. Remove the excess. And that just a little bit. Now we just take these, and each one of these arms is going to attach to the two pinch strips, obviously, on the end of the sleeve. First one on there. Straighten his arm up. We'll attach the other one to the other side. And presto. Your safari guy is done. Just need to add a little artwork to him.